police officer walked up to me out of his car and he said, you're arrested. I said, arrested? Arrested for what? He said, you're arrested for murder. Murder? Please, you gotta be out your mind. That 1977 arrest for the murder of Emma Crapser in her home was just the latest blow to then 18-year-old Dewey Bozella, at the time a trainee of world boxing champ Floyd Patterson. When he was a child, Bozella's father had killed his mother and two of his brothers were later murdered. But a month after Bozella was wrongfully arrested for murder, he was freed due to a lack of evidence. I ain't gotta worry about this no more, how wrong I was. Six years later, he was rearrested. Three men who'd made deals with prosecutors claimed at trial that Bozella had done it. I got sentenced. 20 years of life, but not one single shred of evidence that said I committed the murder. He was sent to Sing Sing. He found a mentor, an imam. He got his GED and started boxing again, eventually becoming Sing Sing's light heavyweight champion. And in 1989, six years after his conviction, recording me not having a jury on my peers, my case was overturned. He was offered a deal if he would admit guilt. All you gotta do is just sign a piece of paper and you walk right out the courtroom. And I said, no. The verdict. Not one single shred of evidence. And I got sentenced 20 years to life again. After serving almost 20 years, Bozella learned about DNA evidence. He wrote to the Innocence Project for help right when he was up for parole. The parole board said, you got to admit guilt or some, some, some type of remorse. And I said, how am I going to show remorse for something I didn't do? He told his attorneys to try one more thing. Go talk to the officer that, that arrested me. They did, and were shocked. He said, I always knew that one day someone would come talk to me about this man case, so I kept his personal files at my house. It was four pieces of evidence. Including? The tape statement that said that someone else committed a murder. That is why this boxer has a new fight now. Bozella is part of a movement trying to get New York to change what are known as discovery laws. New York state law allows prosecutors to withhold most critical evidence until after trial begins. Public defender Scott Heckinger is part of the effort to get the state to be more in line with most other states. Also part of the effort, this commercial. My wife Christine was brutally murdered. I was wrongfully convicted of the crime. As a result, my conservative state of Texas changed the laws around discovery. It's time for New York to do the same thing. Dewey Bozella's case was finally dropped and he was set free. He fulfilled his lifelong dream and won a professional boxing match. He supports his fiance and son with a $7.5 million wrongful conviction settlement. But he says discovery reform is needed because some wrongfully convicted people's stories don't end as well as his. They're coming out to a crime they did not commit and they have nothing. That's why they need to come clean with the evidence. And now the state's Association of District Attorneys, the prosecutors say they favor discovery reform. So these changes could end up becoming law in this year's legislative session.